What's up again, guys? This is Chris Benham with BenhamBaseballCards.com, bringing you another video of uh, what's in that box. I love doing videos for these. Uh, this is World's Greatest Card Chase again. You can see the World's Greatest Card Chase logo here. It's by TriStar. I'm almost positive. I should have actually looked. Pack edition is what it says on here. There's 16 packs in this box. I thought it was TriStar that did these. It just says World Greatest Card Chase LLC. So that's the name of the company. I thought it was TriStar, but I know TriStar had similar boxes to this. But if you guys have seen these on the shelf and you wonder what's in them, that's what the purpose of this video is, is to show you that uh, you're probably never going to get this Babe Ruth that they have uh, shown here on the front. You could, but I'm guessing there's only one of them. This is what's inside this box. This was 20 bucks from Walmart. 16 packs, but you can guarantee most of those packs you're going to never, you've never heard of and don't know anything about. I'm not a fan of how tight they packed them in there. <laughs> wow, sport flakes. Oh, that's hilarious. Let's go over these packs as we, uh, as we see these here. 1989 tops with a piece of gum still inside of it. This is a wax pack. It's actually wax covered paper. Hence the name, wax pack, wax box. Uh, tops big. Let's see if this was. Mm, oh, I can't see the year. It's right here. 1989. So these could be 89 or 90. Tops big. Nice. Those cards are like Bowman. They're really gigantic. 1991 Leaf Series 1. It's got a puzzle piece. Three puzzle pieces, which is actually one card size piece with three pieces pressed into it. And 15 cards. 1991 Leaf. 1990 Fleer. 1994 Pinnacle Series 2. 1992 Stadium Club, Top Stadium Club, Series 2. We've already seen some videos for Series 3 I know of on my channel. I'm not sure if I did the Series 2 on video or not. 1990 score, 91 score. This has got a much softer plastic package here. I always did like how soft that packaging was. 1989 Donruss it appears to be here. 88 Diamond Kings, so I guess this would be 88 Donruss. 1989 Bowman. Those are gigantic cards like the, uh, this is the Comeback Edition. There's a piece of gum inside here. You can feel it. It's broken in pieces. 12 cards and one stick of bubble gum. 89 Tops again. Yep, that's two packs of 89 Tops, so that's a fail. 1990 Bowman. Not a bad set. I like I like 90 Bowman. 1991 Upper Deck. Find the Nolan. This is, uh, doesn't say, I'm guessing this is not High Series, because I believe the High Series packages all have that on the, on the front. In, in this banner, instead of featuring limited edition Heroes of Baseballs, it says High Series, or High Number Series. 2007 Future Stars Baseball which actually has a bunch of veteran players in it, but focuses on future stars. 1987 Sport Flicks Magic Motion Baseball. I remember getting these packs, uh, most likely in 89, 90. Other years later on, getting those packs at the drugstore in Hartford, Michigan. Going up there as a kid in the summer. 2008 Opening Day. Six cards, one piece of gum. I never did well with the 08 opening day because they're red bordered and the box, the, bla the one blaster I ever bought of it, all the cards had uh, white corners on them. The same corner was white, so I never ended up doing anything with them. Never bought any more. 1992 score. Series 1. 16 cards. Again with the nice soft packaging. What do you say we start with this one? So there's, you guys can get an overview, so the people who just wanted to know, were just curious what type of cards were in it, you guys can, uh, you don't have to watch the rest of the video of all these uh, single cards, but you are welcome to.
David Wells, Walt Weiss, Ken Caminiti. I know you guys can hear the baby in the background. She refuses to be quiet. Absolutely refuses right now to be quiet. She's just learning to talk and she likes to hear her own voice. So we just let her do it. Ain't nothing I can do to stop her now. Greg Olson. Danny Darwin. Rich DeLucia. Chris Napples. Rance Mullenix. Denny Santiago. That would be Benito Santiago. Dave Rigetti. Jose Lind. Jose Lind. See, now I got, I did the reverse. I got this, I called him Lind when his name is actually Lind because of uh, Adam Lind from the Blue Jays in recent uh, videos. Because I've called Adam Lind Adam Lind before. Don Slot. Scott Kamenecki. Sed Landrum, rookie, so was uh, Kamenecki. Alonzo Powell. Tim Sphere, rookie. Uh, actually, all those last cards there were all rookies. Sphere, Powell, Landrum, Kamenecki were all rookie cards. And they were all at the back of the pack. Walt Weiss. It just dawned on me that uh, Walt Weiss is the uh, new manager of the Rockies. He did finish out his playing career with the Rockies, I believe. And uh, unfortunately, Ken Caminiti, he uh, passed away of what was reported at the time of a, as a drug, of a drug overdose. Not sure what the situation is, if they found any new information for the, on that or not, but that was the latest I knew about Ken Caminiti and his death. Here's the 2008. There's the sealed piece of gum. This is the 2008 opening day. Red border. Miguel Tejada. V uh, Vladimir Ballantine rookie card. J.R. Tolles rookie card. Robinson Cano. Don't you know? Adrian Gonzalez still in a Padres uniform and Derek Lee still in a Cubs uniform and there's the advertisement card that everybody got. Uh, let's do the 1987 Sport Flicks. I always call these sports flicks, but there's no S in the middle. Oh, it's got a mini. Look at that. A little Red Sox. A little mini uh, reflector thing there. You turn these things side to side and they switch back and forth. American League East Champs in 1986. That's funny. There's another one. Chicago White Sox. With uh, two White Sox logos and a hat. Rich Gedman. Let me see, is it? Yeah, this one is up to, up and down now. The the team things were side to side. This one's up and down. Uh, hitting and catching. Oh, look, there's another one there. It's got three photos. You can see the number 10, mid-swing, and then him catching. Oh, who we got here? Is this Mike Heath or Matt Noakes? Lance Parrish, Don Slott, Rich Gedman is what it says on the bag. I'm guessing this is Lance Parrish. I saw the Tigers gear right here. I could see that that was a Tigers uniform. And what appears to be an Oakland A's uniform. Oh, brilliant. What's the third photo here? Oh, it's got uh, Lance Parrish, Don Slott, and Rich Gedman in the same thing. So there's Parrish. That looks like Don Slott, so I'm guessing that this is Rich Gedman. Photography wasn't exactly great back then. Will Clark, everybody should recognize this from everybody from my era should recognize Will Clark. That's super cool to, to go back and see these cards. That's really neat. Oh, this video is going to be long, <laughs> but it's fun. If you guys don't like to have fun, please don't watch. This is the 2007. Uh, Future Stars by Upper Deck. Exclusive Dice K autograph cards. I doubt that'll be in here in these four cards. John Smoltz. John Smoltz. Scott Casimir. Matt Kane. 
Troy Gloss. All right, a whopping four cards. Yay, that's more like today's cards. I'm going to take these little mini sport flicks out of here. Let's see some 1991 Upper Deck. I have a ton of 91 Upper Deck for those who are curious about that. Oh, these are foil on the outside and paper on the inside. I forgot all about these packs. Wow, this one's got a lot. This Chuck Malone has a like an impression on the front of the card here. I don't know if I can capture it in the light. There's somewhat of an impression down the center of the card from the uh, wrapper. You can see it down here. There's some. There's two straight lines. One of them's more faint than the other. From the back of the wrapper there, from sitting in this pack for 91, 01, 11, 22 years. Wow. Oh, these are going to be... These are going to be tough to do. Let's go ahead and sort these off camera. Chuck Malone. Greg Hibbard. Dave Gallagher. Mike Morgan. Willie Blair. Jeff Treadway. Dave Gallagher again. Wow, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Thanks, Upper Deck. Thanks, 22 years later. Luis Salazar. David Clark. Dave Clark. Jack Doherty. Jiro Perry. Hector Villanueva. Kevin Elster. The Mets hologram. You can see the entire camera and tripod in the reflecting in this. That's hilarious. And this is going to be Ramon Martinez. Yep. And Harold Reynolds. Oh, we don't know who this guy is, do we? There you go, Harold. There's an old painting shot of you. That'd be 1990-ish when they did that. Cause back in that time, they the uh, cards and photos and whatever whatever images they used from back then were the year before. They would be producing the cards uh, well well before the, the season started. 1990 Bowman. Oh, let's see how this turns out. I, I really like this set. Very simple. And mostly because of the memories tied behind it. Terry Bross. I guess it could be Terry Bross. Gino Petrali. Gary Reedus. Pete Harnish. Greg Jeffries. Frank Viola. Paul Coleman. Mike Moore. Wes Gardner. Andy Nazelk. Let me see if this one has the same error. Nope. This one says born 1965. Uh, there were a couple of Donruss cards where they got the information from the same spot that said he was born in 1985 and the card was a 90, so he would have been five years old if that was correct. Tom Herr. Todd Zeal. I remember this was the big. This was one of the big cards to get for uh, 90 Bowman. Russ Swan. Delino DeShields. This was uh, Senior. This is not Junior that you guys are familiar with today. These were always really cool. Paris Chica. Tony Paris Chica. Scott Radinsky. Hubie Brooks. Kiki Jones. Kiki. Jim Presley, Todd Benzinger, Mike Rochford. I guess it could be Rockford too. R O C H. Andre Dawson, Pedro Guerrero, Kevin Tappany, Mark Williamson, Steve Ontiveros, Sid Fernandez, Joe Carter, Gary Carter. Steve Avery. 1989 Bowman. These cards are going to be uh, slightly larger. Here's a piece of the gum. And the other piece is stuck to Saberhagen. No way. That's awesome. 
These uh, also have reprint paintings in them. You're going to like this one. I can't read the signatures on here. Brad Duvall. Devon White. I can just tell that that's him. Willie Ansley. Yep, Willie Ansley. Jimmy Jones. John Smoltz. <laughs> oh, there's a young picture there, John. Brett Saberhagen. Mickey Mantle reprint. It says right here in the corner, reprint. Nineteen fifty three Bowman card reproduction of Mickey Mantle. The painting itself that this card is based on, or the the card itself that this uh, the 1953 Bowman card is worth a thousand dollars. Back in 1989, it was. Jeff Montgomery. Looks like Jose leaned. It is. Oswaldo Perez. It says Oswald Perez. I'm wondering if there uh, if there's some kind of an error, maybe in 1990 Bowman. I thought there was an error where they included an O on the end of his name, but his name is actually Oswald. Steve Bedrosian. Willie McGee. Man, that guy was fast. Bo Jackson. I think everybody knows who he is. This will give you an idea of how much bigger the 89 Bowman cards are than the uh, 90 Bowman, or the rest of cards in general. Let's zoom this out a little bit. There. You can see that they're even and flush down here, and that they're that much taller. That's why if you ever hear anything about 89 Bowman, it's always almost always negative, because they were too big for sleeves that people had. So the tops are the bottoms. Whichever one you had sticking out of the end of the sleeve always got messed up. Let's do some 1989 Donruss. Sean Dunstan. Felix Fermin. It's not Furman. It's Fermin. Ozzy Virgil. Ted Power. Jimmy Jones. We just saw one of his cards with the Yankee uniform on in the 89 Bowman, I believe. Joe McGrain. Um... Uh, now a an analyst on MLB Network. Mike Jackson. Bob Nepper. Ozzy Guillen. Jose Guzman. Willie Fraser. Neil Heaton. Gene Nelson. Danny Jackson. And Brooke Jacoby. Nineteen ninety one score series one. I remember that this uh, set had Dream Team cards inserted as well as a bunch of other little inserts, subsets that were inside the set. They were still numbered inside the set. They didn't have many uh, subsets that were numbered separately. Johnny Ray, Paul Molitor with Wally Joyner sliding in. Danny Darwin, Craig Graybeck. Mark Witten rookie card or prospect card. David Segui prospect. Dave Pavlis prospect. Alex Fernandez first round draft pick card. Uh, I believe Alex Fernandez ended up throwing a no hitter for the White Sox. And I believe I caught the tail end of that game when I was in Michigan at the time. Brad Kaminsk. Larry Walker. Mark Knudsen. Jose De Leon. Phil Stevenson, Alan Anderson, Pedro Guerrero, and Don Paul. The uh, little tiny thing here that fell out of the middle is a trivia card. World Series trivia. Old Pete comes through talking about Pete Alexander in 1926. Grover Cleveland Pete Alexander. Babe Ruth's three home runs in that game. 
It's just another trivia information card with a little bit of uh, trivial type information or trivia style information that you guys can use. flip these over and now because of these uh, there's an uh, club membership card that was always in these packs because of these are very these cards were very very high gloss cards this I believe was the first year for Stadium Club there might have been a 91 I always get those mixed up but these cards are always stuck together Tom Bolton just like Upper Deck from 92 and newer Gerald Young Wayne House Carlton Fisk, Keith Mitchell. These things uh, became a quick success because of their borderless photographs. They uh, commonly referred to as full bleed photos. Keith Mitchell, Daryl Strawberry in a Dodgers uniform. Long time Met. Robin Yount, career brewer. Danny Cox. Pedro Munoz, Paul McClellan, Cal Eldred, Tim Tufel or Tufel, Tuffel, Howard Johnson, Frank Thomas, nice. And Doc Gooden running the bases. That would be Dwight Doggin, uncle to Gary Sheffield. Let's see what 1994 Pinnacle has to offer. Series 2 Pinnacle, to be specific. Corey Snyder. The uh, last name is in gold foil here, so at some point you might not be able to see him as well as the pinnacle logo. The pinnacle triangle is in gold foil. The pinnacle word is actually printed on the card in ink. Otis Nixon. There's another guy that was super fast. Dave Valley and the Red Sox. Kelly Stinnett, or Stinnett, rookie prospect. Tony Fernandez, with Omar Vizquel sliding in. Mark Wohlers. Mike Hampton, rookie prospect. John Ratliff, draft pick. Rene Gonzalez. <clears throat> Roberto Alomar, recent Hall of Famer. Luis Alisea. Tom Browning. And Reggie Sanders. Let's see if these are focused in all the way. Yep, not too bad. More full bleed photos, but that was uh, a couple years later after Stadium Club had done it. 1990 Fleer. Sosa and I want to say Thomas. I don't know if Thomas has one in the regular set. He might have one in the traded. This came with stickers. This is the whole Texas Rangers logo. Jim Eisenreich. Bob McClure. Gary Wayne. Joe Girardi, yes, the current manager of the New York Yankees, Joe Girardi. Guillermo Hernandez, Dennis Rasmussen, Ryan Sandberg, Players of the Decade. There were a bunch of errors in these Players of the Decade cards. I know Ripken had an error. I don't remember what the error was, if there was one on Sandberg or not. Donnell Nixon, Carlos Quintana, Dwight Smith, Robin Yount, Charlie O'Brien, Luis De Los Santos, John, Jeff Ennis, Jeff Innes, and John Farrell. Nineteen ninety one Leaf Series One. Oh, man, those are tough to open. Oh, the puzzle pieces are foil. Harmon Killebrew foil pieces. That's really cool. I don't believe I ever had any leaf from 91, so I would have not been privy to that information. 
Jody Reed, Tom Gordon, this would be Tom Flash Gordon, Dickie Thon, Jeff Blouser, Blouser, Terry Schrumpert, Terry Steinbach, Luis Polonia, Alejandro Pena, Chris Sabo, Brian Harper, Randy Milligan, Jay Howell, Ozzie Smith, Hector Villanueva, and Bob Welch. Man, this is really interesting. Put that puzzle piece back in there. Let's see if these are 1989 tops big or if they were just printed in 89. <coughs> Willie McGee. Storm Davis. John Farrell. Dennis Lamp. Vince Coleman. De Devon White. And Ron Robert Robinson. Let's see how these Topps Big cards compare to 1989 Bowman cards. They are the exact same height, but apparently the Topps Big are wider. You can see over here, they're just a tiny bit wider. I can really show that by putting these things sideways so they're flat. And you can see how much wider the tops big are, but you can see that they're the exact same height. There. Huh. That's interesting. I always thought they were the exact same size, but apparently the tops big are wider. It appears to be about an eighth of an inch. And here it is, 1989 tops. This is common. This is a gum stain. The gum stayed in the pack. But I, uh, Kevin Mitchell. Let's see here. J Bell is the card that I lost due to the gum, and you can see in the reflection here, you can see that it actually punched through the card a little bit. You can barely make out the diagonal outline of the gum there. So that's garbage. Kevin Mitchell, in his Airbrush Giants uniform, uh, did not get any damage from the gum. This was an advertisement card that was in the middle of uh, 1989 Top Specs. Mark Lewis draft pick card. Ed Vandenberg. Vandenberg. Andre Dawson. Checklist number... It's the first checklist, number 1 through 132, so it's number 118 for a card number, but it is the first checklist. Lou Brock is a turn-back-the-clock card, so... This is a 1989 Topps card, so don't think that this is a uh, 1979 Topps card. It's just a throwback card. I've seen people trying to sell them as a 1979 Topps card before. That's why I said that. Uh, be careful, people. Do your homework. Tom Candiotti. Roger McDowell. Eric Davis leader cards. Somebody got mad at me one day because I, uh, in the 1986, uh, 1985 or 84 Tops video, I skipped over Eric Davis without mentioning anything about him, and I believe it was his rookie card, whatever card was his rookie card, and somebody mentioned to me, you skipped over Eric Davis just like he was nobody, and he was actually very, very good, but I've also blazed past Ozzie Smith and Ryan Sandberg, too, and they were both better than him. <clears throat> the point is just to show the cards to people so they know what they're getting, not to break them all down into in-depth reviews on every single card of every player. Mike Maddox, Dennis Lamp, Mike Sosha. Yes, he played for the Dodgers. Uh, there were a lot of uh, issues with the color of the letters and the banner. This is really, really, really light gray. It appears to be white on the camera, but there was also a version with a dark, dark gray in the letters. Alex Trevino, Bob Rogers, Expos manager. For those who are too young to know, the Expos became the Washington Nationals. I believe. There's a piece of that gum. Mm mm mm. Mm mm. Good. And we lost a Kirby Puckett All Star to the gum with the nice big gum stain. That was my Mountain Dew can that that hit. Here's a different advertisement card. 
Rick Roden, Jerry Rius, Bruce, Gary Reedus. This is the dark gray in this Pirates logo that I was talking about where they used it in the Dodgers logo as well, a darker gray. So there's a couple different print runs where the shade is different. Ken Caminiti, Monty Ferris draft pick, Jim Pankovitz, John Cangelosi, Gary Reedus and John Cangelosi. I'll compare these two together. You can even see that this John Cangelosi, Cangelosi gray in the letters in the banner is even darker than this. So that all it was was just how fresh the ink was in the in the printer. And some people have turned it around into being a, an error card of some kind or a variation. You guys know who this guy is, don't you? Mark McGuire, Brett Butler, Terry Pendleton, Billy Hatcher, Scott Bankhead, Steve Ellsworth. Jeff Treadway. That was the second pack of 89 tops. So that is the end of that box, guys. So that is what you get in this box. I'm going to zoom this back out. That's what you get in here in this blaster. This is the, uh, the Babe Ruth, the world's greatest card chase, pack edition, baseball. The 1940s is what it says here, and it has Babe Ruth, uh, what appears to be a Gaudi card, 1933 baseball card is what it says. I'm guessing they don't have permission to use the word Gaudi, or it wasn't called Gaudi at the time, but it is definitely in uh, the card appears to be a Gaudi style. 16-pack box. So there's, I know there's lots of different, uh, lots of different cards, lots of different blaster boxes like that, so be careful. Uh, not to grab something that wasn't exactly that box if you liked anything that you saw in this video, guys. See you in the next video.